Hello and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2. In this episode, we are going to connect more of our cities with passenger trains. And how we're going to do that is by connecting the cities of Louisville. Uh, this one here, I'm not sure, too sure how to pronounce it. Miss Quite. If I'm wrong, please correct me. And I imagine we will connect them to Alexandria here. So the first thing we're going to want to do here is add more tracks to this station, which I believe we do have just enough space to add some more. So Let's add some tracks across here. We'll add two for now. And we'll use these new high speed tracks just so it's easier, easier in the future. And let's also put some more platforms down. All right, so we have this station ready for new track to come in. And now we just have to set up our stations out here. So for Louisville, we're going to, first of all, I think we're gonna flatten the area out here. So we give ourselves some space. And then we will bring out a street right about to there. And then we will add a station. So we'll want this to be two tracks, 240 meter, high speed track. And we'll try to fit it right here. That looks good. So now we have to set up our station out here. And so we kind of want to align it so that we can have this line go up over to the city and then down into Alexandria. So what I'm thinking is we bring this street out like that and then come across right there and we'll use the same station to connect this up here so now to connect the tracks we are going to need a little bit of a tunnel but I am perfectly okay with that although yeah this should be okay so we'll do that. Unfortunately, it seems like there's some hills coming throughout here. So we're gonna have to see if we can get this without any bridges. And there we go. We got this in here without any bridges. We just had to sort of cut this back and start the turn in earlier. So now we just have to connect this station up to the station at Alexandria. So we'll try to make it so it just misses 
that industry here. Actually, we'll bring this back a bit so it doesn't go uphill. We'll get a little bit of a tunnel. That's okay. And then what we want to do is bring this around. And I think we will need a bridge. Let me see if I can... Yeah, it seems like we're going to need a bridge just because the elevation drops off so much heading towards the river. So that, that's unfortunate. That's going to limit our speed for now until we get better bridges. But I don't think we have anything that can go that fast anyway. And now we can just connect this up here. We're going to have to redo this crossing. And I'm okay with this. So let's fix this up. It's not going to like it. We can just do this, and that looks decent. So now I'm going to go through, add a second track, put signals on it, and then we will be back when we build the train for this line. Okay, we have our line ready to go, and all we have to do is get a train for it. So everything is high speed and electric, so we aren't limited by our track. So ideally we would like the fastest train possible. I think we're still going to roll with this electric train here it just seems to be the most powerful one out of anything at the moment and we'll take we'll take these cars because they're still the fastest car and i know this train will have no issue pulling it We'll have, let's put six cars on it, and we'll have two of them. So we'll have this line go to Louisville, out here, to Alexandria, and then back here, and then into Louisville. And... Something, I think... I guess there were no issues. I don't know what popped up. Well, here comes our trains. We'll just have to make sure that they can run at full speed, no problem, between the stations. Because obviously if they can't, and that's an issue, especially with passengers. Now we just have to wait for the next one to come out and stop it just so this one can get a bit of a head start. So this one does get up to max speed heading down to Alexandria, which is great. Now we'll just let this one head back and then we'll start the other one. And there's no passengers waiting yet, because no one's really recognized that this is a route. But in a little bit, there should be people starting to come up. So now we can start this train. And they should pretty much be 
able to handle themselves. Now we do have to set up our bus routes to each of these uh, stations. So we'll put a bus stop right here in front of the station. And then let's redo these roads quick. We will take this and bring it out to here. So then we can add a bus stop here. One down here, even though it doesn't get much, but the city will probably expand down this way. We'll put one around here here, and then another one up here. And that should handle this city. It's a bit awkward, but once it gets more movement, it'll start to fill out. And then we need the bus route here. So we'll put bus stops down here, over here, we will finish connecting up this road. Throw in a bus stop here, and then another one over here. So that should be good. I'm gonna go through and put buses on these lines, and then we'll be back after I do that. Alright, so we have buses at each of these cities, bringing passengers to the stations. We'll give them a little bit of time to start to do their thing and attract some passengers. And that'll be it for this area as of right now. I do want to come over to this line that we have here that connects these four cities. And we still have tons of people waiting at pretty much every station. So I think I'm gonna completely redo these lines and see sort of what we can, what we can make to improve the efficiency of this. Alright, so I upgraded this entire track to high speed track. We won't need it yet, but it is a passenger line, so eventually it will need it. And now what we can do is replace these vehicles. So, again, we haven't really unlocked much since the last time, so we're going to use these train, these electric trains again. And we will greatly increase how much it can carry. So we'll probably add, we'll probably do six cars again on here. And this looks like it should be able to get up. Maybe we'll get rid of one more. And it should be able to get up to almost its full top speed in not too much time. So now I replace those, and I think we're going to add two more trains to this line. Just so we can increase the frequency at which they come. And we'll just throw two more on. We'll give them the chance to space out. Put them on that line. So we'll sort of wait till this one gets down to this stop. And then we can send one of them, and then we'll wait till sort of the next opening comes, and then we'll 
release the next one. Alright, I have gone and upgraded and added these trains to this line, so hopefully we should start to see these numbers start to drop. One thing I am worried about is traffic to Akron isn't really that big right now, um, but I think there is an opportunity to connect Akron to Green Bay at this station here, and then this would allow us to connect up to Marietta and Arlington so that there would then be some sort of demand to come through to Akron. Well, we'll save that for another time. That's all we're going to do in this episode. We've strengthened our train network and our passenger movement and everything seems to be working out pretty well. We'll keep an eye on it over the next few episodes. Um, but anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you have any suggestions or feedback, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.